25th of February 1964, Cassius Clay becomes the youngest heavyweight champion of the world and wants to celebrate. So he goes and celebrates with three of his very best friends in real life. They all go back to this hotel called the Hampton House Hotel in Miami and they close the door. You've got like Muhammad Ali, you've got Jim Brown, you've got Sam Cooke and Malcolm X all in one room and, no, and, and nobody else. And we get to be in the room. Speaks for itself. I mean, that's exciting theatre, right? In 1964, you've got a world in crisis going through this massive upheaval and change. In 2019, you've got a world in crisis going through massive upheaval and change. I think what this play brilliantly does is allow those themes to resonate incredibly loudly. That's what Kemp has done. You know, he's looked at that moment in time, those four men, and asked, in a way, what are we doing today with their legacy? My character in One Night in Miami is Sam Cooke and his role in the play I guess is very significant because he is a part of the quartet but also he's also discovering you know his position within the civil rights movement. Malcolm's role in the play, he's a leader. I think he feels like his role anywhere he goes is to teach and lead and focus other people to be the best person that they can be. Essentially, these four guys are the engine, you know, of the civil rights movement in America in the 60s. We get to live with them. We get to hear them sing, we get to hear them joke, laugh, play, fight, and, and everything that comes with trying to work out what to do with the responsibility of being a black man in 1964 America. Long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will.